Just recently, something quite remarkable was discovered inside the source code of a beta release of Apple's upcoming operating system, and as it turns out, it seems to be a brand new GPU from the red team. This is a new GPU, guys, that we never ever heard about before, suggesting that AMD is working on perhaps something a whole lot bigger and greater than the 505 square millimeter Navi 21 GPU, said to be upcoming big Navi. But this new GPU is called Navi 30. And this could be AMD's new flagship that eventually could replace Big Navi later down the road, or it could just be an even more powerful Big Navi releasing alongside Big Navi. In today's video, we're gonna talk about this newly discovered GPU, which at the moment we don't have, you know, too much info about, but we do have some leaked info along with some interesting thoughts on what it could be, which I do think you guys would be interested in. And so, with that said, no time to waste, let's dive right into it. So, we are about to witness one of the biggest, if not the biggest GPU launch in history, where both Nvidia and AMD are getting ready to duke it out in September. Pretty much all rumors points to AMD planning a massive GPU with Big Navi. In fact, according to AMD, Big Navi is their Halo product. And in plenty of interviews, yes, they have made it clear that they are not joking around. With upcoming RDNA 2, they got their target set for 4K domination. Nvidia, on the other hand is not sleeping either and from the green team we're expecting something quite remarkable as well and in case you're interested i got videos linked up down below that covers all the juicy stuff in much greater detail the point is guys both teams want to be the one having the most powerful gpu at the end so who will be the standing winner will it be nvidia or will it be amd let me know in the comments below now if we were to believe this new leak it could mean that amd got something even bigger and greater than the already massive Navi 21 GPU. This leak once again comes from Rogue Game, who posted this leak on Hardware Leaks, where he found multiple mentions of a Navi 31 GPU in the source code of a beta for a Apple's new operating system. Unfortunately, guys, the name is pretty much all that we know about this GPU so far. But if we take a greater look at the name, we can get a better sense of what GPU this could be. So let's do that. The way that AMD likes to name their GPU seems to be a as follows. Let's just take Navi 12 as an example. Now the first number seems to indicate the generation of the GPU. Number 1 would then mean generation 1 or RDNA 1 followed by the GPU number. The largest and most powerful ship seems to be named the lowest number and the highest number seems to be an assign to the least powerful GPU. And so for example Navi 21 is said to be big Navi and this is said to be AMD's flagship for the RDNA 2 architecture. For number 2 here gives us the architecture number, followed by the powerfulness of the GPU. Navi 22 is then a cutdown of Navi 21. And Navi 23 on the other hand is then again a cutdown of Navi 22. Now if we assume that AMD follows the same patterns and same namings as before, 31 could mean a new flagship of generation 3 architecture or perhaps RDNA 3. In other words, this could be a first sign that AMD's next generation Generation Radeon is already in the making, but on the other hand, it could also be a specially designed GPU for Apple, such as the Radeon Pro 5600M. At this point, it is still a bit too early to know the answer. If you don't know, Apple recently made a statement that they are abandoning Intel on the processor side on future Apple products to instead make their own RM based GPUs themselves. But considering this massive change in architecture, Navi 31 could potentially be, you know, several things. It could in theory be a specially designed graphics chip for Apple's needs, or a specially designed RDNA 3 graphics chip for Apple's transition to self-built processors. As Apple's computers become more custom-made with its own silicon on the processor front, it may as well also require heavier customization on the GPU maker as well. Who really knows at this point? So the question becomes, is this just a tailor-made chip specifically designed for Apple's new computers, or is it maybe aim this counter for the RTX 3090. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Watch either of these two videos to learn more and I will see you guys in the next video.